Welcome back for some more here. So, for those of you who are returning, thanks. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So, uh, in my previous episode series on this uh, table saw modification, or table saw sled modification, um, I had an older table saw, uh, older table saw, and uh, uh, recently sold it so I can uh, purchase a uh, new table saw. Um, and I purchased this model here and the stand as well and uh, pricing's not too bad. Anyways, I uh, also had a previous video on uh, the setup of a the setup of uh, this table saw which is a very long series. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, my video style, uh, they are um, uncut, unedited, uh, first person view. So uh, everything I'm doing is um, in, well, not in real time, but if it was, if I was doing this live, it would be in real time. Uh, basically, you're seeing it how I'm seeing it done as I'm doing it, unrehearsed, no, no cutting or editing. Um, you know, if I cut my hand off, uh, that's what you're going to see. I'll be cutting my hand off, but I'm pretty sure I won't. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't. So, um, anyways, today uh, I'm going to take my cross cut sled, um, which the uh, the guides that the little slots uh, that fit into the guides are different than this. And so, uh, what I decided to do is since I've already made them, um, just like I did with my rip sled here. I don't know if there's such a thing as a rip sled, but I have a rip sled, all right? So, so I made a little, I originally used this to, on my previous sled to uh, just give me a very longer, longer board from, you know, here to down there. So when I rip something, you know, when you're ripping something on some, on, I was ripping longer boards too. They're like eight to six feet. Um, let me see if I could show you. Basically, I was ripping these. These are just uh, reclaimed uh, pieces of wood um, used for crating and shipping and stuff. And they're about two and a half inches, and they have uh, rounded uh, edges on them. And uh, what I do is I just cut off the edges, a uh, quarter off each side, gives me a nice square edge. Um, they're not, you know, S4S, but uh, they're pretty close. And I make, uh, you know, picture frames or other stuff, um, whatever I want with them. But uh, anyways, um, you know, ripping it on something small like this, the problem I was having was uh, the beginning of the cuts and the end of the cuts were not so straight. Not that I used them all, um, but sometimes when, um, sometimes they moved a lot, you know. And just having this much, much space is, uh, you know, not very adequate at times. You know, if if I had a piece of uh, board that was only this length, then yeah, this the fence board that came with this would be very adequate. But uh, you know, I cut a little bit longer pieces because you know I want to do more stuff, and uh, I don't have a thousand dollars to spend or, or a thousand plus dollars to spend on a larger, um, you know, table saw. So, uh, this is how it came, and uh, this is what I made, and I cut it in half, and that way I can use both sides, as you saw from the previous uh, episode of this series, um, or from the series from my modification. And so, um, I'm just making good use out of this. And so, this is my rip, and so I just placed something on here, um, and just cut things with it so safely with my hand here pushing on it hopefully it'll be a uh, clamp down you know so I really doubt you're gonna see my finger be cut but but you never know I mean this is this is uncut unedited you you could if you're really into that kind of thing but uh, so this is my rip sled um, it's not really a rip sled anymore because it's gonna be used for something else which I have in mind uh, but now, uh, I'm going to take my 
large cross cutting sled here. Move this out of the way. Which I also used as a as a table stand too. Um, this was a really big piece. It's about 44 inch by 44 inch, and I made these little things here so when I get to the edge they would um, you know um, some way clamp onto the to the table so the board won't flip over and uh, it was kind of nice it gave me a nice larger kind of area to you know work off of if I, when I wasn't using to cut uh, but now it's kind of obsolete because uh, as I said these these grooves here uh, these grooves here don't uh, or not grooves, but uh, whatever these are, the slides here don't uh, don't fit with the with the guides on the new table. So just like I did last time, um, I'm gonna see which side I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut off from, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just just cut through the whole thing, and uh, then that will become my new um, cross cut kind of sled half a crosscut sled so um, where I'm using one guide instead of two guides uh, to slide my um, my uh, pieces of wood uh, to cut uh, being cut so um, but later on I'm definitely gonna make a, a two uh, two slide crosscut table sled um, you know the guides right here where there's you know two of these um, so just to make sure I got a accurate cut as much as I can you know these uh, these tables they're not that great you know if you've seen my setup you'll know what's wrong with this um, but then again you know for the price uh, well you just have to deal with it uh, take it how it is but but with the right you know sleds that you can make, and since I got all this for free, this is all reclaimed uh, plywood and wood. Um, doesn't cost me nothing except, you know, some time and effort, which I'm willing to do because that's all I have in my life is time and effort. Um, money is something I don't really have a lot of, and in some ways I think, uh, um, you know, money is uh, just a uh, a lot of time a waste of time you know um, but that's another story anyway uh, so let's let's get started let's uh, let's do it and uh, like I said this is uh, just something I just thought of uh, it's not rehearsed or planned out or anything it's just a uh, let's do this with the uh, crosscut table since I've uh, gotten this uh, new table saw here and uh, let's make the most of it. Alright, sorry about that. Sometimes when I put it into the holster, it turns off. Okay. Uh, okay, you're still on. Good. So, yeah, you know, my point is just every time you buy any new equipment, you just don't want to, you know, buy the accessories. I mean, sometimes I, I think it's planned that way, but. Uh, I don't want to do that, you know. Um, so let's get started. So you're seeing it just as I'm seeing it. Okay. God, this thing's big. This is just a big sheet. So uh, basically, I just took uh, the best sheet I had and. Uh, you know, chose that to be my cross-cut sled. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, it's uh, the cross-cut part wasn't even sled. Uh, the cross-cut part down there where the, uh, uh, this portion here wasn't exactly straight either. And uh, it uh, did have a little bow and bend to the, to the plywood, but uh, I made pretty Pretty darn good cuts. Um, still work for me. I usually you you worked on this side because um, I was aligning everything from this side of the blade. So basically, 
um, I matched up everything on this side of the blade when I was cutting so everything I measured from this edge to this edge here so but on this one um, I got more room here so I lined everything uh, you know I squared the blade to the this side of the table and uh, it uh, so I'm going to be working off a from this edge to be cutting from this edge most of the time maybe maybe sometimes but the, the important thing was again uh, if, I don't hate to repeat myself but um, my previous videos on how on the setup of this was it's important that the blade is parallel to the guides if they're not it's just a big waste of time especially if you're making a uh, a sled for your table um, so it's happened to me and you can see it <laughs> you can see all the trouble I went through uh, if you guys are into uh, you know trying to fix shit that doesn't work you know or fix things that don't work uh, you'll spend the time trying to fix it but uh, but uh, you know I think it would have been better if I just go ahead and eventually I just returned it and got this and it, and just came out of the box much better. I just adjusted the the blade to the table. The table's still not, you know, straight, but uh, nothing really ever is straight around here. So let's have a look here. Um, so I'm looking at it, and uh, so that's kind of what I have here. And of course, um, I'm gonna have to lower the blade, and I gotta be. I don't really have to be careful. Well, I guess I got to be careful. The riving knife. Let me try to raise it a little bit. The riving knife is still on here, and uh, I haven't taken it off. Although I really want to take it off. I mean, got all the safety features off of this. Um, can't really work with it when you're working with the sled. So, got to be careful about how high I lift it. But I think you know, this high will definitely cut the, you know, plywood. Let's lower the blade. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure it's lower because last time I lowered it, um, it wasn't low enough, and it actually caught onto the to the blade. Um, so, okay, just making sure it's low enough. So, all right, and so I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna try to figure out which side I wanna cut it. So let's let's just let's just do that, shall we? Okay. All right, there we go. So let's take an under look at it. Let's see what's going on. Since it's just cut one side anyway, I mean, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter which side I pick, I guess. But. Uh, mm. I did all this work and it wasn't even recording. Isn't that, isn't that something? Anyways, uh, here's what I decided to do. I decided to go ahead and cut this in half, make a smaller cross-cut sled, um, because, mainly because now I have um, the miter saw, which is right here. So now I have the miter saw here. There it is. So now that I have the miter saw, um, I can cut longer pieces of wood, and maybe even metal if I just change out the blade. Um, I was thinking about putting along this wall. So, uh, but of course, you know, it doesn't hurt to have an extra piece of a uh, sled here. Um, so what I've decided to do was to take these off, which were uh, attached to the bottom under here, you see the screws, and what this also did was it, uh, it slid in, it slid in, you know, right here and went under this and then that allowed the table to not tip over when I was pushing it on the, um, 
on my other table saw. Um, but I'll still probably use something like it, uh, but it's not going to be as wide as this. So you missed the whole part where I came up to the conclusion of uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut it right in half right now. And then I'll pick a side or use both of them. So, uh, oh well, you missed some really good stuff. Too bad. That's just, that's just the way it is. And it's not edited. And cut. Alright, this is getting a little frustrating. So uh, now, you, now that you know what's going on, um, let's continue with this. All right, make sure the tables. I haven't bolted this in, so I got to make sure that uh, that it's gonna it's gonna stay where I want it to stay. Now I'm gonna pick a side. I'm gonna pick. I'm going to pick this side to work with here because it has the cleanest side to it. It has the cleanest side to it, so I'm going to make the most. So you see right here it has uh, this has kind of always been a problem, so I'm going to pick this side to, to make the, the cut. I probably have to take this off too which I will. Uh, let me see here. And that has the screws on it. So. All right. Stop. Uh -huh. 